Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome, welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 22 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. It's episode number 81 on this fine Wednesday. Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, today, like I said to you in, in yesterday's episode number, number 80, um, this one's going to be a little bit of a banger just because there's a couple of good things that's, that happened right at the start of this episode which are very good things for you RTG enthusiasts out there. So, if you could do me a huge favor and smash the thumbs up. I think this one is definitely deserving of 4,000 likes. That would be amazing. Keep showing that awesome support. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Cheers. Uh, so yesterday we managed to pack Van Dyke, uh, which is brilliant stuff. Like I, I did a little bit of a grind on like Silver Beast and I got like half of um, Baku done. So I think from one of the packs from... Yeah, it was a rare Electrum, so I'm not sure. It might have been a seasonal objective pack. We ended up getting ourselves an 89 rated Van Dyke. So that changed the defense up for me. Uh, it means that I brought back the uh, the Dutchies, and of course we put Virgil in there as well. So this SBC right here, I just got home from football. Ipswich were playing on Sunday night, and I tweeted out, are there any flash SBCs I need to be doing quickly? And you lot were like, do this one. And boy, am I glad I did, because we got not only a cheeky Kalor Navas, we get an 89 rated Ruben Diaz, and then I selected him, and he's tradable. Oh my god, what a whirlwind of emotions that was. Like, I, I went from trying to cook steak downstairs to quickly running upstairs to doing an SBC whilst all of that was going on, and then getting myself a really good player pick in Ruben Diaz, and then realizing it was tradable, that's just such a huge dub. So he was about 220, 230k at the time, sold him for 229, went pretty quickly, and I'm up to 500,000 coins. The only annoying thing, right, is that for some reason, 24 hours later, he was like 320k. I don't know why he went up like 100,000, but I've seen him cheaper than what I sold him, and I've seen him more expensive than what I've sold him. Weird. So I instantly just go out and buy Neymar, because I'm like, he's a series legend, welcome back to the king, I have to try this man now that I finally have the coins. Because when do I ever have half a mil? I always spend like 100k a week on uh, some random SBC player. So, whilst I had it, I went out and bought him. <laughs> I thought, I'm doing this before I end up wasting money on anything else. So... Currently, all of my wealth is tied up in Neymar Jr. He is a series legend. For those of you that don't know, um, yeah, it was great for us last year, of course, but uh, it was it was mainly the year before where I had the player of the month version. I had him since like December or something, and, and I used him all throughout the rest of the game, and he's so, so good. And he was great again last year. Um, so, yeah, I've... Uh, I, certainly enjoyed that card uh, in the past so bringing him back to the rtg is just an absolute bonus and i uh, i love that i can do that for five hundred thousand coins i've seen him down at four hundred thousand, so i'm expecting to lose some money that's for sure but um who knows maybe he'll suck and i'll sell him on in like a day or so i don't know i haven't done that yet by the way for those of you that are always like yeah all of your players last one day and then you sell them but I'm not hearing such great things about him this year. I've been so excited to try him, but I am not hearing the greatest things about him. So we'll see. I, I guess we'll see. I, you can literally just individually just go into some games and find out for yourself, right? That's that's really the main way to test a player. Um, and the fact that we've got first owner Messi means that having that little PSG link, that's useful. We've got Verratti as well. So I can just go for like a... A 4 3 3 and along the top, put left wing and then Verratti striker and then uh, Messi uh, right wing with Neymar left wing, and, and that just works. So I could do that and then we could work on the rest of the squad. Um, I get boards from this mega pack right here. It's going to be Marino. Uh, I think in the background, I can't exactly remember. It's either you're either seeing stuff from uh, a flash objective, uh, sorry, flash SBCs. Or it's from me doing the Baku stuff in the background. Uh, but this one was quite cool. 85 plus upgrade. I got shafted on this one last time, didn't I? If you remember, you put in this 83 rated squad. It's got a team of the week in it as well. That's not the cheapest thing to do. And last time I got David Silver. And I'm like, eh. Surely it can't go that bad again. So I thought, we'll rerun it. We'll see. I know it's a bit of a waste of fodder. But... You know, we've managed to pack Ruben Diaz and Van Dijk in the last 24 hours. I should try this out. And I I, 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 get, I get boards again. I get Galaxy this time. 
What is with this? I, remind me never to do another 85 plus pack. It needs to be player pick if Lasty's going to get anything from it. That is for sure. So, yeah, for some reason, the uh, the, the guaranteed like rating player packs are just giving me the very minimum. Um, but everything else, like the, the player picks and stuff, have all been pretty good, I would say. So, yeah, uh, this preview pack I don't think is worth it. I saw an anchor in there, which I know is worth a bit, but... I don't think I can make 7.5k back from that. So we'll leave that one, test it out again in 24 hours. Um, so you can see Neymar is there in the club. And actually, I just go and put these three tradable players up on the market and keep the 84s because they typically don't sell for much more than a few thousand. Um, but I thought at this point in time, I'm a little bit short of coins because we've just spent it all on Neymar. So... Yes, I sold my Inform Bonucci and my Inform Hoffman, uh, and then I'm going to sell Trent, I'm going to sell Parejo, going to sell Martinez. It just makes the club a little healthier coin-wise. It means that I can actually do something if I need to. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I think I'm a little bit far away from the Icon SBC if I want to keep Neymar. I think I'd have to sell him in order to fund the rest of it. Like, I can get an 85-rated squad done. I can get probably the 83. I, I can probably get about half of the SBC done. And then I need to spend 150k on the other half. And I don't quite have that, do I? So with it expiring, like, I don't know, today or tomorrow, whenever it expires, I've got to be very careful um, if I do start it that I know I can finish it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to flog Neymar. I'm going to have to get rid of him to get the coin to then finish it. I don't know if it's worth doing or not. Um, I'd like to for the content, but also that it always screws me. It always screws me. I can't see myself coming away with a first owner, you know, baby Pele or baby Cruyff or Ronaldinho or something like that. I'm going to get myself Deco or something. I, I just know it. I'm going to get someone even worse than Yari Lippmann somehow. I don't know how, but somehow. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. Almost thinking, just give it a miss. That might be the play. Um, I go out and buy Yezzy Dudek. So I thought, I'm going to try this Hero Keeper. Uh, because that's one way for me to get uh, Virgil van Dijk on full chem. So I put the Dutchies in. Actually removed uh, Yari Lippmanen. And put in Gravenberch. Because Gravenberch will then get the strong link to Neres. So I can have a front four of uh, Neres and Messi at cam. And then Neymar and Benzema up front. Oh my goodness. And then a midfield of Verratti CDM. And then bring Gravenberch off. And bring on either... Nkunku or Alfonso Davies, and then my defensive back four as Van Dijk and McIntosh in the middle with a Wusu and Mendy out wide. And then there's Jerzy Dudak in goal. I think this squad looks epic. I think it looks absolutely brilliant. Like, in an ideal world, I would have someone in Gravenberch's spot who helps Neres get chemistry and then I can actually use, you know. Um, but... You know, I don't live in that world where that's going to happen for me right now. So that's what we're going to have to do. You know, if we were bring, busy bringing off, uh, we're bringing off Yari Lippmann in any way, it might as well just be Gravenberch that we bring off. Actually, in terms of a CDM, he's probably a bit more usable for the first five minutes than Yari Lippmann is anyway. Um, so, yeah, so this is how the squad's going to line up in game. That's how it starts. And then Gravenberch comes off, obviously. Put Fonzie in there. It could be Nkunku. It could be Fellaini. Whoever you want, like a, a slightly better ball playing CDM type thing um, and then so the aim is to use Messi and um, Messi and Neres at cam with Benzema and uh, Neymar up front obviously Benzema is a striker he's going up front um, but the other three I'm not sure which way round I don't know if Neymar should be a wide cam or if he's going to be great up front you know do I need do I need a skiller up front in uh, in Neres I know that Neymar's a skiller too but what do I need you know which way is the best combo to play those players in that's what i've obviously got to go ahead and find out so then i sat there and played six more games of squad battles <laughs> and got baku done um not really a card that i'm super interested in he looks pretty good i would say am i gonna really use him i don't know if he even gets a spot on the bench maybe he does maybe he should with that pace and dribbling and then just generally well-rounded stats he looks a little bit Atal-esque in terms of stats there, um, but not with four-star, five-star, which is where Atal excels. Uh, but yeah, like I, I'm gladly going to bring him into the squad. If I if I end up just using him as a requirement in an SBC, hey, I've, at least I've done the legwork and saved myself like 30, 40k, whatever they cost. So yeah, that's a, that's a good thing. And we got it done, and it got me a whole bunch of packs, as well as getting part of this Black Friday stuff done. So I played 11 games of squad battles to get him. So it got me a whole bunch of my wins, and then... You know, that will expire. I, I'll have played either some uh, some rivals or some 
foot champs qualification games in order to get the rest of those done so i should end up with all of the packs like you know we've got another another seasonal objective mega pack here i think so it's actually been a really good time i've just been smart about it like left the rivals and stuff and, and i can do that another time later in the week probably the sort of day when you're watching this i'll get them done get up to seven wins and then go through the playoffs or whatever um and then but in the meantime just do like the off-camera stuff so that i had extra fodder coming in because i was completing objectives and getting packs from it it then gave me some you know rares and non-rares which i could stuff back into other sbcs to to hopefully get more fodder so it was actually just a good time it was a good little cycle um i'd love to get myself onto the sbc like the league sbc grind uh and i know like nep is doing a fantastic job with that at the moment making money over like hand over fist um but like at the moment, I tend to use all of my players and then I have nothing left. And then I, you know, I should probably spend that 48,000 coins in my club on making sure that I get like the Premier League SBC done. If I can get that done, it will give me some packs. I'll open those packs, start putting the players into other league SBCs and just hopefully get on a continual grind. I know that I should be doing that. It's just hard to, it's a difficult thing to film actually because it just means the bit, the episode's become all over the place um but yeah also i think it would probably be good for our maybe not initially for our bank balance but in order of getting good players in packs the more packs you open the more chance you've actually got a pack in someone big um and yeah so we'll see i'll try and get on it uh but i got myself got myself a little uh a couple 84s in that one. Time for a mega pack now. All right, cool. What we're going to get from this mega pack then? Are we going to get anything good? Oh, we're going to get a proper team of the week walkout. Unfortunately for me, it isn't someone epic from best of team of the week. It's not Neymar. Um, it's Stindle. Oh, well. Untradeable Stindle. Uh, hey, it's another 84. I just sold, you know, I, I sold my Bonucci and my Hoffman. So I had no high rated informs left. So I've got an untradeable one now I can use as an SBC requirement. So that's good. Uh, and then from the 81 plus triple, these have never quite been that great for me. Uh, I don't think I've had a walkout in one of them. But again, they cost the same amount as an 81 plus double and they just let you do it once. So uh, of course, I'm going to give that a go to just maybe see if we can get something good. Now, there isn't much else left to do. I was going to put some gameplay in here, and I'll tell uh, I'll tell you now. I did actually go out and play some games. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a bit of you know sore throat. Uh, and the games went awfully, genuinely awfully. I think I rage quit nearly all of them. I don't know. I was in in a little bit of bad head headspace to play games. I was just getting stressed, which is not how I should be playing. I should be playing rivals with a little bit more like calmness to me. So I was quitting left, right, and center. So I wasn't getting anything done. I actually didn't do anything with Neymar or Benzema. Like, it was just not playing quite right. So maybe I will adjust the team to get Neymar as, as a wide cam and then put Messi back up front or something um, just to see if that works better. I'm not sure, uh, but I'll, I'll get there. Don't you worry. Yeah? And if not, then we'll sell Neymar and we've got 500,000 coins again. So uh, we, we shall certainly make the best of it. Um, but yeah, like... I, I need two more wins in rivals and it was just not happening everyone i was playing was a complete and utter sweat i don't know how i've got myself to div two rank one and it just seems harder than ever i don't know who knows we'll get there um don't you worry about that <coughs> essentially I need my two more wins because that'll give me enough rivals points to play in the qualifiers which hopefully i can just do first time and get into the weekend league a uh, little bit worried about that um and also, it will give me the seven wins that I need so I can get the, the good packs at the end of the week. Or tomorrow, I guess, by the time you're watching this. So, uh, yeah, we we're a little bit ahead on the series. But there's been so much content that obviously that then puts out... That gives me minutes and minutes and minutes worth of clips for you guys. So, um, it feels like forever ago that I finished the weekend league. But actually, uh, there's just been so many SBCs since. No, this mega pack right here, by the way. I got an anchor, a shadow, and two hunters. It's quite cool, I guess. Um, <coughs> yeah, I really need a drink. My voice is getting towards the end of uh, end of its commentary ability. Uh, so yeah, in the in the final pack there, I get myself eighty four rated Tadic. That's the, probably the best one that I've had from an eighty one plus triple. Unfortunately, <laughs> an eighty four is the best I've had. He was a duplicate, but luckily the other one was. Uh, was tradable so i could just stick that one up onto the transfer list 
So that's going to be the end of the episode. I'm just going to end things right here. Uh, tomorrow I will probably do qualifiers or something, other SBCs. Who knows what will, what content there will be for you guys. Uh, but I'm assuring you <coughs> it will be good. Thank you for watching. Smash the thumbs up button. I'm going to go and have a drink so I can sort of get the old voice box working again. Um, yeah, smash the thumbs up. 4,000 likes. That is what I'd love to see. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Cheers. Uh, come and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Both of those links are down below. Other than that, I'll see you tomorrow. We'll have some good fun. And uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be back then. Peace. <laughs>